Good day all of you. In this class, I want to start the concept operations on one random variable. Operations on one random variable. Under this, the first concept or the first operation on one random variable is expectation. Expectation is nothing but process of averaging the random variable. Expectation is represented by E of X. And is also called Expected value of X. Mean value of X. Or statistical average of x. All these are different names given to the expectation of x. How to find this expectation? For continuous case, the expectation formula is E of x is equal to the other representation is x bar minus infinity to infinite x into fx of x dx. For discrete case, e of x can be sigma i is from 1 to n xi into p of xi. By using these two formulas, you can find the expectation of the random variable. Expectation of the random variable is nothing but mean of the random variable. In general, for a numerical values or uh, some real values or something, mean is mean, that's all. But for a random variable, mean is nothing but expectation. Expectation of function of a random variable, expectation of function of a random variable. What is this? This is expectation of the random variable x and this is expectation of function of a random variable. Let g of x be a function of A function of random variable. Expectation of function of the random variable E of G of X is integral minus infinity to infinite. Simply in the place of X, you ought to keep G of X. G of X into Fx of X dx. This is for continuous. And for discrete E of G of X is sigma I is from 1 to N G of Xi into P of Xi. This is for discrete. Okay. So this is about expectation of a random variable and expectation of function of a random variable. Now, I will see some problems. First problem. Expect 
if fx of x is 2x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and 0 otherwise find e of x. Okay. So definitely it seems to be continuous case. So in case they will give the data in the form of a uh, discrete uh, uh, discrete values or in the form of a table. Okay. So now what is the solution here? E of x is sorry capital X. See here if this x is capital and the, in, the x in the in, inside the integral is small. So what is the formula actually? Integral minus infinity to infinite x into fx of x dx. But here for the fx of x given the limits of 0 to 1. So 0 to 1 x into 2x dx. Integral x square is x cubed by 3 between the limits 0 to 1. So the answer is 2 by 3. Second problem. Experiment. In an experiment. The random variable x is related to y as y is equal to g of y equal to x cube by 2 and the density function of x is fx of x is equal to 1 by 4 between the limits 2 to 6 find e of y this is the question what is the given data the random variable y is related to x and fx of x is 1 by 4 between the limits 2 to 6. Then e of y is integral minus infinity to infinite y into fx of x dx. Okay. If it is x, keep x. If it is y, keep y. Then what is y? g of y. Function of the random variable. And this density function is defined between 2 to 6. So totally the limits are 2 to 6. And y is nothing but g of y 1 by 4 dx. What is this function? This function is given as x cube by 2 into 1 by 4 dx. One by eight, x power four by four between the limits two to six. So the answer is. So it is one two nine six, six power four minus two power four that is sixteen. So totally it is. One two eight zero by thirty two is nothing but your forty. Let us do another problem. Given fx of x is e power minus x for x greater than 0 and g of x is equal to e power 3x by 4. Find e of g of x means the expectation of a function of the random variable. What is the solution? e of g of x is Formula is integral minus infinity to infinite g of x into fx of x dx. Okay. And g of x is e power 3x by 4 and fx of x is e power minus x for x greater than 0. So the limits becomes integral 0 to infinite. g of x is e power 3x by 4. fx of x is e power minus x dx. Therefore, e of g of x is integral 0 to infinite e power 
3 x by 4 minus x dx. 0 to infinite e power this minus 4x, 3x minus 4x. So, it is minus x by 4 dx. e power minus x by 4 by minus 1 by 4 between the limits 0 to infinite. Okay. So, if you substitute the limits e power minus infinite is uh, 0 and e power minus 0 is uh, 1. So, totally it is Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.